Right, the delivery driver's just dropped us off some goodies. First of all, a big old bottle of Vibratec Grimex. And second of all, this finest box from China Supply. I had an ultrasonic cleaner a while back and um, it was terrible. So instead of learning my lesson, I bought another terrible uh, Chinese ultrasonic cleaner. The only difference is this one is a lot bigger so we can actually fit carburetors and engine parts in it. smoke yet yeah. and I didn't get electric here holding on to it while I plugged it in I now need to uh, dilute this down and fill it up and then we'll be back and um, I'll give it a go while I go and get some sausages for breakfast all right ultrasonic noise maker is that uh, working properly I've popped the carb off the bike it was easy just a uh, couple of screws We're just going to take off the ancillary bits and bobs. I want to basically make sure we get rid of anything plastic or anything rubber that might swell up in the presence of the ultrasonic cleaning fluid and then we can pop out any jets or needles or anything so they get their own clean. How frustrating. Allen heads. Looks like the um, cleaning fluid that we ran the bike on has done a fairly good job in here. So that's everything out of the carburetor that um, might not agree with the cleaning fluid removed. So plastics, rubbers, O-rings, all that kind of thing. Okay, so things have been stewing away for about an hour. I've just turned the ultrasonic cleaner off. I'm going to take a look and see how everything has gotten on. Just going to move you in for a closer look. Looks like we've got some set screws and stuff that have had some like factory sealant over them. There's one here and then the bottom here was blocked off as well. I don't know if this is a port or something else. Looks like it might be the tail of a screw, um, but we'll figure it out as we go along. We'll see what does and doesn't work. All in, done a fairly good job. A little bit of um, tarnishing here or there, but the emulsion tubes clean the uh, port that it goes into and everything around the needles and idle circuit appear to be clean. Just to make sure, I'm going to grab some carb cleaner and just blow it through. Make sure that uh, all the passages are clear. And then we should be okay to put this back together. Okay, time to put this card back together, I think.
going to use a little bit of silicon oil to make sure that this old seal goes back together without kinking or getting torn. The bike doesn't have a catalytic converter, so we're not going to poison anything. We're just going to save ourselves a bit of a headache. Okay, that appears to have done the trick, so we can pop the spring in. I have to look up in the um, workshop manual what this one does. Okay, the plan next goes change of pace. There's uh, quite a bit on the frame where there's these rusty spots. And um, before we look at tidying it up, taking the wheels off, any of that stuff, I don't have the tubes yet. So we're going to take as much off the bike as we can and um, tidy up these bits of the frame. It's just going to be a case of degrease wire wheel and then some director rust paint. It's not a show bike. Um, I'm not putting that much effort in. If you wanted to, you could powder coat the whole thing, take it all apart, but um, this is the grand challenge, not the 10 grand challenge. take this next bolt out the suspension is going to drop looks like the rocks holding it in So the back of this indicator bolt is stuck, and you know what time that makes up. That should mean the tailpiece is free. Indicators, anybody? Sorry, did I get you there? That's that, and it is crusty inside. Not sure there's any rescuing this uh, metal tail piece. Probably won't take it out because anything's better than nothing, I suppose. But now we can get to the frame.
nice thick coat, make sure it runs just proper. In case you were wondering, it's this stuff. It doesn't work. It's a stopgap solution. Never paint anything you care about with it. But for now, for covering up the rust, stopping it getting worse, when this thing's covered in crap on trails, it will do the trick. I'm going to play that game as far forward as we can be bothered to um, until probably we get to the engine cradle because I'm not taking the engine out. Um, we're going to cover up, treat, pick your word, all the rust we can find just to keep this thing going long enough for the grand challenge. Um, if you are mad with me about this, go on eBay, buy your own SR125. They've been made since the early 80s, late 70s, all the way up to the early 2000s. This is by no means a special bike, not something to be preserved. If you want to be the person that preserves one of these, go find your own. Or buy this one off me after the grand challenge. But for now, we just want to get this thing road legal. So things escalated a bit, and uh, now the whole air box and half the electrics are out. I'm trying to get down to the swing arm. I think that's probably going to be where I'll stop. I'll um, pull the back wheel off, and then uh, take the swing arm off, if I can. Give that a good blast down, stick a coat of paint on it, um, and then we'll put it back together again. Hopefully better than it was before. Only slightly, though. 